If there is one true thing that's been said about the Trump era, it is friend of the show Rick Wilson's contention and the title of his book, Everything Trump Touches Dies. Another thing that's true is that once upon a time, Donald Trump was one of the most referenced figures in hip hop music. He was name dropped more than 300 times in popular rap songs, with his name standing in for the idea of extreme wealth, bling, success. But when he ran for president in 2016, those rappers, including some who knew him personally and even partied with him on occasion at Mar-a-Lago, weren't exactly lining up to endorse him. Only one big name rapper did, sort of. Kanye West said right after the election that if he had voted, he would have voted for Trump. Then he became pals with Trump, including an Oval Office photo session with Ye wearing a MAGA hat and ranting. Things kind of went sideways for Ye's public reputation after that for a number of reasons, the luncheon with the Nazi being one of them, and that weird moment with that Candace lady in the White Lives Matter shirts. But it seemed like a lot of other rappers saw what happened with Trump and took it to heart to maintain their distance. Fast forward to today. When Donald Trump is now an adjudicated sexual assaulter, he's been fined $450 million and counting for his fraudulent business practices in New York, meaning the whole reason hip-hop loved him was a lie, plus those 91 criminal counts. But, like, meanwhile, just days ago, and, oh, I'm sorry, and meanwhile, Trump just days ago said that black people like him specifically because of his indictments and his mugshot. And days before that, an obscure right-wing Fox commentator said that black people will vote for Trump because they love the sneakers. They just love sneakers. So it seems like a really weird time for any rapper, any rapper at all, to jump on board with anything associated with the Trump brand. And yet, just this week, rapper Fat Joe seemed to do just that. To show him the box first, what it says. It's friends and family, there's only 50 of these. I got to get my hands on it. Once again, I'm not a Trumper. I dislike Trump. I'm not voting for him. Not now, not never. But I'm a sneaker collector into the art. So I had to find these. I'm joined now by Tere, host of Masters of the Game and creative director at The Griot. And I'm, I'm so glad you were available because I really wanted to talk to you about this, Tere, because you've interviewed a lot of these guys. You know, Fat Joe, you know these guys. There yeah. were a few things that were weird about that live. Number one, the fact that he had a branded box, which kind of said to mm. me that Trump maybe is sending these to people so that they will do an unboxing, maybe. Oh, I don't know if that's how you, it struck you, but it struck, the whole thing struck me as odd. He said, I dislike Trump. A lot of people thought he said, I just like Trump. He said, I dislike Trump. Why do you yeah, think that yeah. he decided to do this whole unboxing of Trump sneakers? I mean, they're not quality sneakers. So, <laughs> no, when I first saw Joe doing this, I was like, no, not Joe. Guy from the Bronx, been part of hip hop culture for a very long time. But as he explains it, he is a collector. He is into sneakers. He does not care about Trump. He doesn't like Trump. He doesn't support Trump. The guy, Joe, has, that Joe has like two, 3,000 pairs of sneakers. He's a collector. He wants to have all the sneakers out there. I'm sure he has the Marty McFlies. He's got every right. sort of rare sneaker that you could get. So it's about being a collector, not about mm -hmm. supporting Trump. He's saying he doesn't like Trump, but like he wants to have all the sneakers. But there's a thing that's sort of implicit in your question. The hip hop that you and I grew up on in the 80s and 90s was political. It was Chuck mm -hmm. D, Tupac, Karis One, Poor Righteous Teachers. They were political. They were making critiques of America, critiques of the president. We don't have that sort of hip hop anymore. And yeah. I'm not saying they're dumb. There's a lot of extraordinarily intelligent rappers, but there's a lot of money in the game now. There's a lot of yeah. branding in the game now. And it's really about getting people's attention on you. There's not a lot of politicized hip hop like the sort that we grew up yeah. on. So expecting hip hop in general to have a political response, which we grew up on, is it's not what the game is doing now. Well but it's not even just, I mean, look, I worked, like I said, toward the end of the Obama campaign. Like, there were there were hip-hop artists, including Jay-Z, who were, like, openly stumping for Obama, right? I mean, you know, Will I Am is not, like, a traditional hip-hop artist, but he supported Obama, like, made his, his, his speech into a hit song. I mean, I remember interviewing 
um, Luther Campbell, Uncle Luke, like before Donald Trump ran. And that was the era when it was probably safe if you were really going to come out for him. And he just talked about the fact that, you know, hip hop artists used to be at Mar-a-Lago. They didn't like have some big objection to Trump. But I know that n n you didn't see a flood of rappers, even though they did know him and knew who he was and referenced him. They weren't referencing him then. Uncle Luke just re re recently put up a post saying you'd be crazy to vote for Trump after he said that BS about like, uh, uh, you know, black people liking him because he was indicted. He was like, and this guy knows Trump. So I just yeah. wonder what you make of the fact that you have now hip hop artists willing to associate their brand with him, knowing what we know about him. A million people dead from COVID. You know, the things he did as president. Do, does it surprise you that people who are usually so brand aware would let their brand be associated with him now? You know all those videos when people go to Trump rallies and they ask them ridiculous questions and then they give ridiculous answers that don't make sense, that don't comport with political reality? We see a lot of that with the rappers who are talking about why, why they support Trump. Kanye said when he wears the hat, he feels like Superman. What does that mean? Sexy Red, very popular rapper this year, last year, said that she supports Trump because she appreciates the stimulus checks. Right. Joy, who was, who was, which party was the part Democrats. of getting us those stimulus checks? Yeah. It was, it was Nancy Pelosi. Right. <laughs> it was, it was right. the Democrats. So she is, the sexy red is giving credit to Trump for something that he did not do and that he opposed. But oh, she does not yeah. understand. She doesn't sit around reading the New York Times or watching right. your yeah. show. So she doesn't understand. She knows when Trump was president, I got a check in the mail. I love yeah. that. Let's do that again. You know, and the thing is, I will give him credit on this, is that the marketing on that, he opposed the stimulus, but he put that letter in with the stimulus check so that people who got the physical checks in the mail thought he gave it to them. That was a genius marketing move. Maybe Biden maybe yeah. should do maybe that. It, it, you know what I mean? Instead of doing, like, border theater. Like, maybe that's the thing, is that people do respond to the idea of somebody doing something that impacts their lives directly financially, right? And that kind of is, I, like, I the good politics. I think implicit in this conversation is this notion that the right wing is trying to spread, that more black men are going yeah. to the Republican Party and to Trump. And yeah. as you've said, on this show, we have yep. seen about 15 percent of black men supporting the Republican Party since 1968. Always. Always. Right? We are and, not. And they're going to do it again. Change. And we need to talk about the six in 10 white voters that are going to vote for Trump. It's not the black. I'm telling you, all if, if all 14% of black men who vote for Trump did it again. That's not, that's not the reason he would win. Uh, Teray, my friend, thank you very much.